And really, part of what we do is minimize the impact to the residents in the area. We visit Houston, Texas and the largest water pipe bursting project to date in North America. Just under 10 miles of water distribution main ranging from 6 inch through 12 inch were replaced, including services, valves and hydrants. All the water mains were located in densely populated, mature residential neighborhoods. Replacing utilities in urban areas presents challenges to all stakeholders. Easement issues, street closures, traffic congestion, disturbing surface works, and customer inconvenience are all areas of concern that communities must address. Being mindful of the impact of construction, many water utilities are beginning to use trenchless methods such as static pipe bursting to replace their water distribution mains. Reducing community impact is vital to businesses, traffic flow, homeowners, and the environment. So the project we're on here today in Houston, we're looking at just shy of 50,000 feet of um, pipe bursting installation. The entire existing network is being replaced. Um, currently it's all AC pipe, which we're replacing with 6 and 8 inch and 12 inch uh, HTP pipe. When Murphy Pipeline crews arrived, a staging area was first selected. To further minimize the impact of construction to the residents, the staging area was located away from actual burst locations. 40-foot sections of HDPE pipe were delivered and butt-fused, according to the burst program of 500 to 600 feet. The method of pre-chlorinated pipe bursting has a history that extends many decades as the process was first adapted by water companies in the UK. The method uses HDPE pipe and entails the pre-assembling and testing of approximately 400 to 600 foot lengths of pipe above grade in the staging area. The work is completed in advance of pipe bursting operations. Once the pipe string is proven to be sound by the testing and disinfection procedures, bursting operations can begin. With pre-chlorination, all AWWA guidelines are followed. In addition to using pre-chlorination on the Houston project, a temporary bypass system was also utilized due to inoperable valves and the need to maintain water and fire service during construction. Again, an example of how we overcome problems, um, there was 110 valves on the existing network and um, when we started the project, it was just over 10, 10, 12 valves maybe out of that 110 working. So we came up with solutions to overcome that. Um, we installed different valves as we went and started to take control of the water. While the static pipe bursting method is typically cost effective versus open cut construction, the true value is realized in the reduction of community impact during construction. Replacing water main in residential neighborhoods presents several construction problems to the residents. These can include noise, dust, road closures, removing mailboxes, trees, and other hardscapes. With static pipe bursting, 500 feet of water main can be replaced per day, which fast tracks the project schedule. Excavation is also reduced by 85% versus open trench. The residents drive in and out of their driveways, roads remain open, and most importantly, the city receives very little to no customer complaints. Really, part of what we do is minimize the impact to the residents in the area, and um, that's clearly evident here at the moment. You see our guys have the neighbors out talking to them, they're all happy with what we're doing. We um, we're very clean, we leave, the, we leave the area looking pristine every evening after work and um, I think we're providing the client with a great product. Beat Mechanics.